Hello and welcome to GSC at Home, bringing you a bit of science every day at 10am. My name is Natalie, I'm an astronomer, and today I want to talk about how you can identify different types of objects in the nighttime sky so that you can go out stargazing and see what you can spot. Now, most of us will be stargazing from a city, and stargazing from cities is a bit trickier because of all of our city lights. Our house lights, our car lights, our street lights, they all go up into that sky and they make it really hard to see the stars. We call this our light pollution. And for every star that you can see in a city, there are at least nine more hiding in our light pollution. But luckily we can still see some really amazing objects from the city. And when we're stargazing, it's really in the name. We're mostly looking at stars, but not everything up there actually is a star. So how do we know which ones are stars? Well, stars do something to tell us they're stars. Something all of us will remember a song about from the nursery. Twinkle, twinkle, little star is a science song. Stars really do twinkle. Scientists usually call this stellar scintillation, but I think I'll probably stick with twinkling. And stars twinkle because of what they are and where they are. Stars are great big balls of burning gas or magnetized plasma burning really, really far away, so that by the time their light gets to us, it's very spread out. We say the light rays are all going parallel to each other, and then they hit our atmosphere, and our atmosphere refracts this light, it bends it, it's turbulent, it's moving, and it bends it in lots of different directions, so that by the time it gets to our eyes, it's lots of different directions, and it makes it look like the stars are twinkling. So if you go out tonight and you can find a dot of light and you look closely and it's doing that flickering and flashing and twinkling, you know for certain that you've got yourself a star. There's only one star that doesn't twinkle and that is the sun. And the sun doesn't twinkle because it's so much closer to us. So anything that reflects the light of the sun, like the moon and the planets, they don't twinkle either. So that is how you know when you're looking at stars. But there will be other objects in the nighttime sky not twinkling, and there'll be a very, very bright one tonight and over the next few weeks. If you get the chance to go out and look towards the west, you'll see a very, very bright light. In fact, you've probably seen it before and maybe thought it was a plane. But it's not a plane, it's actually the planet of Venus. It's just incredibly bright, brighter than any of the stars in the nighttime sky. Venus is sometimes called the morning star, but we know it's not a star because it's not twinkling. And we call it the morning star because we see it in the early evening or early morning. And that's because Venus's orbit is inside our Earth's orbit. So that is when we get to see it. So see if you can go out and have a look at Venus. Something else that doesn't twinkle is the moon, which should be a lot easier to spot. We can't see it right now, but later in the month, the moon will start to come back up again and we'll be able to have a look at that. If you're really lucky, you might see something else that doesn't twinkle, maybe a shooting star or what we call a meteor. There are lots and lots of rocks out in space called asteroids and sometimes they head towards our planet Earth. But we are very lucky here on our planet because we have our atmosphere and our atmosphere acts a bit like a blanket around us. It keeps us nice and warm and protects us from things out in space. So that when these rocks hit our atmosphere, they burn up and we get that lovely flash of light that we call a meteor. If it gets to the ground, we call a leftover rock a meteorite. So see if you can maybe spot one. They're a bit trickier to find in cities, but maybe if you're really, really lucky, you will see one. Sometimes we even pass through the tails of comets where there's lots of dust and we get meteor showers as well. Now there's also other things up there that don't twinkle, things like satellites. Satellites are a bit trickier to identify because they can get confused with planes quite easily. But there is one satellite that I find extremely easy to identify, the International Space Station. It's the biggest human-made object that we've put up in space and it looks about the size of a grain of rice in the sky. And it's very bright, brighter even than Venus. Now we can't see it just yet. We'll have to wait for a few weeks to be able to see it in the nighttime sky. You can find websites and apps that will tell you when the International Space Station is going above your head that I'll leave in the description. So next time you know it's going over you, 
definitely go up. Try and find a small grain of rice sized object that's not twinkling and very bright in the sky. See if you can spot it. So there we go, now we can identify stars, meteors, planets, the moon and even the International Space Station. Let us know if you find anything in the nighttime sky over the next few nights. If you've got any questions, please tweet at us at GSC Planetarium and tell us if you'd like to see anything else on stargazing next. Maybe you'd like to find the North Star, find a constellation, let us know. Thank you so much for joining us at GSC at Home and we'll see you tomorrow at 10am.